Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to use multiple cursors in Stator. So I'm using Stator 17. Now multiple cursors for me while analyzing data were useful in a couple of scenarios. I have four examples here and I'm going to show you in each example how I use them. So the first example is checking if uh, a person ate bread. So in one data set you might have it in small letters but when you move to another data set you find that they captured it in capital letters, the same variable. So you can simply edit here. You can of course go and change the variable name but because this example is showing multiple cursors you can simply edit here on three different spots and just put cups on its bread and maybe you can also change it to we don't want to check it for zero anymore if it's not equal to zero we can say if it's greater than one so that's example number one now example number two, again, similar to example number one, if it's just saying that we're checking if TV is broken, equal to one. So we may want to change it equal to zero. Similarly, you can hit control and click on all points you want to go to. Then we can just erase, then check if it's equal to zero. Now, those who are familiar with Stata will notice that these two examples, the first one using Gen and the second one using Laplace, will not run because these will not be defined in Stata. The variables will not be defined in Stata. But for the next example, which is labeling values, so here I'm saying label define livestock. So I copied and pasted the uh, couple of livestock names from an Excel. So this is how they came out. Now you could put this in one line and start adding quotation marks, but we're gonna leave it as it is and use multiple cursors. So firstly, we want to turn these values into string. And we're gonna add quotes, double quotes at the beginning and at the end. So let's start with the end. Make sure you're really precise at the end here. Don't leave a gap. There we go. Almost there. And I put double quotes. Similarly, in the front, we also want to be precise just at the beginning of that letter there. And again, double quotes. So it has turned red, meaning that Stata will now recognize this as string. At the end here, you want to add a triple slash. The triple slash will tell Stata that the command is not yet completed, but it should look in the next line. So before using the triple slash, always remember to put a single space then one, two, three. So this, this should run in any stator because we're just defining a label livestock. So if you select this and hit control D or just press the run button, you should see that it will run in stator. And to confirm that it's now stored, you can use a, uh, a command like label label book and just say livestock and if you run this stata will show you there the labels as they are now for the last example using multiple cursors i've chosen a string that are of the same length so here you just see that it's much more easier 
to go in the straight line and implement a double quote. Again, in the front, another double quote. Then we need the triple slash, excluding the last line. Before the triple, st before the triple slash, add a space. Then one, two, three. This should also run by hitting Control D or clicking on the land button at the top. Again, to check that now it's stored in Stata memory, you can say label book, household items, it will show you. So that's all on multiple cursors in Stata do file. There are the plenty of, if you want to learn Stata YouTube, on YouTube, there are other commands that you can go to. You can learn about all these commands that I've written here. This tutorial is just to show you how to implement multiple cursors on different lines. So whenever you feel like it's practical or wherever you can apply it, you can always use it. I don't even know the, the number, the limit of multiple cursors that you can use, but it seems that you can have a lot of multiple cursors. So thank you guys for watching this video. If it was helpful, give it a like.